Welcome, one and all. I have another special video. So, a few things have happened. So this is a mix of, uh, kind of an update, kind of also a slight unboxing. And, uh, I guess uh, an announcement, maybe? I don't know. Uh, let's see, let's turn the music down just a pinch. I want it in the background. Not over me. I'm the important one. Yeah. Let's see how that goes. Okay, so, first things are in order. We are at 101 subscribers, my children. Klukale, happy day. Fossil is a very happy boy. So, in the coming moments, I'm going to, while this renders, figure out how to set up a poll of some sort. Uh, seeing as this is my second order of magnitude milestone, uh, I believe, maybe third order of magnitude. Uh, either way, it's a hundred subscribers. Uh, we've done this in, uh, I don't know, about a month, month and a quarter, who knows? It just goes from oh, so many days to weeks to a month or whatever ago on the, uh, the feed over there. So I'm going to say within a month to two months, we managed to do this. Awesome, this is great. Uh, second thing, uh, this is for you, Princess Pasta. I will be commenting back on you, as well as putting in the description a time code for the item that I was hoping that you would uh, offer to Zeus. I believe it may be very, very useful for him. I will include a little, uh, uh, during that moment, a quick little snippet where I'm playing with it. We'll go from there. Hello, sweetheart. So, let's continue forward. Side note, I've opened all of the boxes to make sure there's no uh, personally identifying information. And we'll just go through the uh, stuff as we get them. Sorry for the dog. You know the shtick. She's adorable. I can't stop her. Aren't she, sweetheart? Yes, I do. These are some tube savers. Nine pin. Uh, bake lights. They are for my X20 TA0N and LOX GP20. Awesome shit. Good stuff. Great price. Uh, everything I have... Uh, everything I have in the description... Uh, in the description. Uh, well, there's... There's one. Everything I have will be in the description in terms of links. These are something awesome. I know it didn't come that way. That was me trying to scratch off the information relating to my order. These are from Seismic Audio. Audio. Seismic Audio. That's two. These are XLR 3 pin to RCA adapters. Very simple. This will be important here momentarily. Oh look, some fountain pen ink. Oh look, a fountain pen from Lamy. One of my favorite brands to date so far. Ooh, yep, aluminum, some more ink. Hooray! So when I mentioned I watch other reviewers, that's so I don't step on toes. Uh, it's also so I can get a sense of how to understand stuff. We all start from somewhere. We all have a baseline, a zeroing point. Mine happens to be other YouTubers. I have watched many, not just Zeos, not just Joshua Valor, not just DMS, not just Metal. There are a, a league of other YouTubers that I watch that are awesome for all their things. I mean, I'm... Might be a wizard, but I'm human too, and I have entertainment needs. So, continuing forward, these are braided XLR cables. The very same ones uh, Z likes to use, and I have to agree that they, for the money, are very, very useful. See, look, you've seen these before, they're nice and pretty. I have six of them. We're getting there, children, don't worry. They save the best for last. Come on now. Okay, Princess Pasta. This is the part 
where you come in. This is also the part where we set our timer, dumbass. <sighs> this is the box it comes in. This is from Knob Sound, uh, the proprietors of Doku Audio and Little Bear, the one Little Bear. There are two variants of this, one with Bluetooth and a power requirement, and this model, the one that I have purchased. Uh, the music, by the way, is, uh, I completely forgot to mention. It's just some random free use, no copyright mix I found on YouTube. Cause I'm a hack. Not that I make money off of these videos. I, I don't even qualify. Hell, I don't even have a Patreon. But this is an interesting device, and I know you can see this. I like to A and B. Dax, amps, damps. Dax, amp combo, for those of you that are new initiates. Uh, children, we're not starting a... No. Changing, ch changing subject. You'll notice input, output. Yes, I could have used a normal selector, a uh, passive one at that, that allows for a veritable selection. But when you're trying to A, B, C, to A, B, C, it's kind of a pain in my proverbial and cockles to have to unplug, maybe go into system settings and set, uh, this is the driver now. Okay, this is the thing that's doing the driving and it's preamping to here or it's spitting out signal to here. So I have this. You can alternatively, Zeos, hopefully uh, Pasta uh, links you to this, because I don't believe I have earned the right to use your email, because I don't know if this is going to be useful for you. Not at all. I also realize now I may have bought the wrong cables. Shit. I'm going to need some adapters. Such is life, I suppose. Oh well, Amazon. Shit. Anyhow, this could be useful for something at our math. You could set up a nice little thing with three DACs, three amps, tell someone to plug in a headphone to an amp, and then they can A, B, and C the different DACs to hear how it will play with that particular amp that they want to use. Or they could choose that DAC that they really like, and then A, B, and C the amps and switch from there. There are no other options that allow for a headphone pass through either passive or active, although I am probably going to tear this open eventually and figure out how to make my own and make that a very real thing. Why? Because I'm a damn madman. That's what I do. I'm a wizard. But XLR female inputs. Left and right, two of them. RCA inputs. You can get adapters to change these for everyone else to RCAs, don't forget that. For the output, we have RCAs and then two XLR males from the looks of it. They're the ones with the pins rather than the sockets. So, male. This may not work for the case in which I am planning to use it in, but everything I've seen in terms of reviews says that this is really clean, only passive. It doesn't require power. So quality in, quality out, reasonable cable run in, you know, yada yada yada. I think this would be useful for you at RMAP for that very reason. If you don't think so, I'm terribly sorry for wasting both yours and Pasta's time. I'm, I'm sorry. That is why at this point that I didn't, I will tell her that I don't want your email yet, not from her. If you think I have helped you out, or you think this is useful, or you like where I'm going with this, or the way I do things, you are welcome to look up my business inquiry email. I'm sure you know where to look, at least on the YouTube side of things. Awesome. I hope that helps. Continuing forward, I have a very special thing straight from China. Gum shipped like this. Very well packaged. DHL Express. Less than a week for it to get here. Comes really well packaged, actually. Oh, Jesus. Ugh. Pain 
and suffering. Wrapped in some cellophane. Some people get off this, don't they? This sound? God, I don't know why. It's horrible. In fact, I don't know if I'm gained down enough for this. Uh, one more time. Okay, here we go. This is a chinese amp. Weiliang Audio, I, I suppose. This is the E600. It is equipped with a very nice set of two op amps here. And the OPA... Oh, for the love of Christ. I'm going, I'm going to have to look it up, aren't I? Oh, Jesus, there it is. Okay, this is equipped with the TPA-6120. That is the output chip. It has a rate of 1300 volts per microsecond, or 1300 capital V slash US, microsecond as far as I understand the uh, terminology. The distortion degree is, or the total harmonic distortion plus noise, is 0.0014%. The signal to noise ratio is 120 decibels, with an output current of 700 milliamps. I chose model 3, or version 3, a Musis O2 op amp. Two of them. I will check that later to make sure. And the 110 volt variety. They do have the availability for. The availability for uh, 220. You have stereo here, balanced 4 pin, left and right 3 pin XLRs and a quarter-inch jack. High-low gain, XLR RCA inputs on off switch. Ooh, a smooth knob. Very nice. Using a Japanese Alps switch. RCA ins and XLR in three pin with your standard PC style three prong vertical uh, power cord slot. No, this does not come with a power cord, but quite frankly for 160 something dollars, 170 something dollars not bad the only downside would be an output impedance of roughly 10 ohms so use cases may vary i'm looking into how to uh, measure that and now is the time to start the next one no you know what in fact i'm going to stop this hook everything up give it a really quick demo of the knob sound uh the the one bear and go from there all right we'll be back in a bit okay Welcome back. Well, I guess not really welcome back. I mean, there's just going to be a skip there for you. But for me, it's welcome back. It's a... Uh, it's been a journey, children. First and foremost, please forgive the mess. Um, I did this rather hastily. This is great. I... If anything, it might just... Uh... Well, it's it's telling me I didn't n maybe know my DAX as well as I thought I had. Uh, I still hear... Sorry, no hands. <laughs> uh, in the frame, that is. Um, I, I could still hear a difference from one DAC to the next, and it works perfectly as intended. Extremely transparent, as far as I can tell. Uh, but then we're getting into the argument of uh, DAX at a certain point or lower... Uh, moot in terms of their augmenting of the sound. Or I'm not trained enough yet. I'm going to err on the side of my earballs not being quite as well trained as I would want them to be. If these things happen, I will have to endeavor more. But uh, the only issue I saw was switching from the active amp, like so, and say you were still plugged in over here, and that would be on RCA output, and I'm still plugged in there, right? So switch it over to the P20, and the audio would continue to bleed through only if uh, I was still plugged into that one. You can hear some of the audio because uh, it's all a passive system, so it's all kind of cross-talking in some fashion or another. Uh, but otherwise, I... Awesome. 
Jesus, awesome item. Uh, about $65. Completely worth it. Um, another use this could be for, seeing as it has XLR male ins and XLR female out. Uh, no, female ins, uh, male outs. Uh, I had that backwards, sorry. Uh, this could also work great for monitors and swapping between uh, sources and or different locales, what have you. But point is, a 3x3 three three input-output selector, absolutely amazing. As far as this little lamp goes... Oh, it's quite dark. As far as that little monster goes, I don't quite know how I feel feel about it yet. Uh, the good news is, is it will push the XLR inputs through single-ended or balanced. And I assume these. I don't have a way to test this yet currently. Um, however, I may have had a bum unit, so I'm not exactly going to be doing a review anytime soon, unfortunately. Uh, there seems to be a channel imbalance, extremely low, biased towards the right. And it seems as if the RCAs are non-bloody, goddamnable, fucking you ugh, working. These things happen during shipping, uh, so I'm not terribly upset. I mean, I'm annoyed, but these things happen. When it was in the sweet spot, ha, low or high gain, yeah, they have it in reverse. Fucked if I know why. I'm a wizard, not a telepath. And no, I won't do your nephew's bar mitzvah. That's, that's a magician. I'm a wizard. The scholarly kind of magician. The one that doesn't do simple hat tricks. At least, not for pennies. <laughs> uh, so, continuing forward, uh, the review for this will be pending. I'll be talking with the uh, distributor very shortly, and hopefully we can come to a resolution and see if it was just a bum unit. I have it on extremely, extremely valid, good authority. I can't disclose it. So take me at my word. I haven't lied to you all yet. But I have it on great authority that this is an amazing amp that was supposed to contend with something very special. But when it was working, it uh, sounded really good. I don't know if it's the op amps that are bad or anything like that, but anyway, I suppose I'll figure that out later. Back to, back to this thing. I'm a little scatterbrained, I'm terribly tired, and there's a rat's nest worth of fucking wires everywhere. But what I'm doing here is I can select between these two dedicated DACs. At the moment, they're behaving both like DACs. That one is one, that's a damp. DAC amp combo. Not DAClifier. Sorry, Z. We're going with damp. Why? Because that makes me moist. And that should make you moist, too. In a good way. Not a sweaty, gross way. Anyway, I'll have ways in this video. Do you know the way? Oh, God, no. Dead meme. Dead meme. Shit. Shit. Dead meme. Amazing sound, regardless of what I'm doing. Uh, with the Lux GP20 using two risers and some GE5 Star 5670 uh, aviations uh, tubes, and that one with a Matsushita, uh, also with a riser. And just amazing sound all the way around. It doesn't matter how I fiddle with it, play with it, it's good. For the purposes of Sorry, moving around the boom. For the purposes of uh, setting up a little demo stand for uh, headphones or for speakers, uh, anything like that, to switch between source and output. Perfect. I, I really and truly recommend it. It's completely passive. The only truly downside to it is it's light as a damn feather. So you may need to wait it a little bit. All right. Uh, the video's been long enough. I'm terribly sorry. This was just an unboxing this time, children. Uh, the music in the background is... See? I promised. There it is. Uh, that's all I have. Uh, Miss Pasta, if you would be so kind as to send him the relevant time codes, of which I will put in the comment, and the... 
uh, description of the video. I would greatly appreciate it. And again, if he, if either, I guess he feels up to it, he's more than welcome to contact me. I'm sure he can figure out how to find my information. He's been in the YouTube game, you, you tube game far longer than I. Shit, another video. Can't get away from it. It's a goddamn curse. <sighs> I'm so agitated. All right, it's been long enough. I need to go. Uh, in, by the way, dear children, the reason I'm being so transparent about this is because it was a comment on one of my past videos. A uh, recent video, actually. And I have nothing to hide. If I'd much rather it be very transparent so people don't think I'm trying to weasel my flabby little arse into the big boys. Sorry for the vibration. Into the big leagues. That is by not any way the means. If something is given to me or I get something at a discount because I talked to them. Or I want to talk with a, a YouTuber. I make it extremely transparent, especially when it's on my videos. Because this is open knowledge. That's the way I am. I am not going to lie to you, children. I will tell you exactly how I feel. I wanted to love this. I'm hoping it's just a bum unit. Or the other guy got, like, the one golden unit. Hell, I don't know. That's all I have. I'm terribly sorry for this, uh, droning on. It's been a... It's been a day. Have a beautiful day, my children. A pleasant afternoon. A wonderful night. And the best of dreams to you all. Come back again soon when I will review the... The V.E. Monk Plus... After that, I believe I'll probably either do the Tim T2s per a uh, subscriber request or commenter request. I believe he is also a subscriber, and I might be a he or she. Hell, I don't know. And the final thoughts on the Tim P1s, uh, because I wanted to have more time outside of the honeymoon period to really gather my thoughts and the final go no go that's it now officially goodbye children come see me again soon your favorite the great fossil